So I'm reminded of how I uh, walk into my bedroom at night very often, or when I get up in the middle of the night. My husband is sleeping, and I don't want to wake him up, so I kind of tiptoe across the dark room. But I have in my mind, I understand that there are real things in the dark <laughs> that I can't see, but I believe they're there, because I've bumped into them before. Um, so I know uh, when I'm getting up at night what direction the bathroom is in, where the sink is, and as I'm coming back from there, I know that there is a laundry basket full of clean laundry that's been sitting there for several weeks. <laughs> and I know, too, when I get to that place to kind of walk around it so I don't trip over it, because I've tripped over it before. Um, so people of the world scoff at Christians for believing in things that can't be seen. Our modern mindset has become very materialistic in many ways. So um, the world scoffs when we say we believe in a God that we can't see and we believe in heaven, well, right. But um, they say that things that can't be perceived with our five senses senses simply don't exist and that you're foolish if, they, if you believe that they do. But they're not entirely consistent in that belief because they believe in plenty of things that, don't ex that um, aren't evidence. Um, we all have assumptions of faith. And it's not foolish to believe in things that you can't see. Most of the things that make our life worth living are things that we can't see. Um, but I know there's a laundry basket there. <laughs> I've run into it before. And so faith informs us of things that we can't see and um, helps us in our journey. 